I lost track of it. <laughs> okay. I got preoccupied. Oh, okay, yeah, here it is. Yeah, you know, it's the name of the place we're in right now. Preoccupied. What? <laughs> Okay. You know, it's it's like we we're preoccupied. Just it's, that's why they call it. That. It's that's right, right? I thought it's, it's para poem. No, it's para. It's para 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 <laughs> Okay. That's that's why there's so many people that are that are like wanting to integrate with Scorpion because they're like they they can't live normal lives because they're like dis dis dysfunctional, right? Oh, it's good. That, 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 they like, a, lot, a lot more impact, like, you know, it's just really... it's, So it's, it's called paraplegia. <laughs> okay, let's just open up your screen on my phone. So I know where you're at. You between the ship already? No, no I haven't entered. Right, I'm, I'm uh, inside para the main office. Pop, 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 pop. Yeah, yeah, I, you're, you're in Parapium. Parapium. Okay. Teleporter. Pancreatic cancer. Okay. Going in. <laughs> we almost never get to go to the Kira's home planet. At least the... the, the the Rain care who's not we're departing Parapium in just a few like we never visit Klaus either Head back to our original sector through the Scorpium wormhole once we're out take us to Vergold at maximum war understood come on we gotta get to the bridge captain Marielle the Bella Gulp is hailing us. the Bella Gulp what of course they survived they survived put them through Captain Curtis! Nice job getting out of there in one piece. It'll take more than that to save us. <laughs> nice. Besides, I was the one worried about you, since the Astoria altered course to pursue you. Uh, actually, Captain Bennett and his entire crew was integrated to Scorpium, and they invaded a Scorpium colony. He was firing upon non-combatants, so we had no choice but to engage him and... I see. But, Captain, can it be true that a fleet under Commander Remington is currently attacking Vergold? It is. They're using the pretense that Vergold has been antagonistic, interfering in Pangalactic Federation interests. What a bunch of... <laughs> the Federation are clearly in the wrong here. But we're stuck playing catch-up, since no one knows why the Commander has gone berserk. Captain... Commander Remington is connected with the Centralist Scorpium, the same force that attacked the Manuk system. What? It is likely that the Commander himself has been integrated, and we have evidence that shows he may even be the Centralist leader. The truth is... Now we're really the whole information to him. This whole crisis started with the Federation, when Bennett and other Earthling officers were integrated. Still... I can't believe this has been going on for 15 years. They don't even hold back against their fellow Scorpion. And what's worse, their abilities are vastly superior to those of us that are flesh and blood. My guess is they're going to use this power to expand the Federation's influence. But why would they attack for gold? Well, that's the thing. It's not as if there's been any fierce outward antagonism with for gold up to now. All this will do is serve to upset the other unallied planets. Hey, Duma. I remember before you were saying you came aboard the Yidis to assess Vergold's suitability for integration. Oh. And these centralists, they're also connected to the network, right? Correct. Does this mean they're invading with the intention to integrate the people of Vergold as centralist Scorpion? I think we can assume that. You're going? Hey, my home is in danger. I will do my part, and gather allies to put a stop to the Commander's madness. 
You know, we have no way to tell if any Federation ships that come our way are part of Remington's faction. So for safety's sake, give me a heads up if you decide to bring <laughs> any friends along. Will do. I'll send you all we know about Remington's movements at present. I'll make my way to Vergold as quickly as possible, too. I wish you and the Aldus a safe journey. Over. Add Curtis's data and open a wide-range schematic display. So, each of those dots is a gigantic ship akin to the Astoria? Hmm. I now see why Lambert would be so unnerved by the mere sight of the Tyrannus. The enemy's advance forces will reach for gold in 48 hours. It would be reasonable to estimate combat will begin in 72 hours. How about us in the Vela Gulf? Even rushing to Vergold, at warp 11 as we are, we will not arrive for 96 hours. The Vela Gulf is in much the same situation, approximately So they're way faster than, than we are. Damn. Well, I guess that means we can't really depend on them then. Sorry, everybody. Hope you don't mind helping me clean up this mess back home. Oh, the Velagol will take 98 hours, we're to 96, okay. So there could be two hours more longer than we are. Hmm. Now where has little Duma gone off to? No job. Somewhere with Ray, perhaps. Duma disappeared on, on uh, Leticia? Interesting. There's a quest in here. Oh no. He wants scorpion chips. I just used them all. <laughs> oh man. Are we traveling swiftly or not? Residential quarter. Yes, it's 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 with Ray. The duty of Duma is to seek out candidates for Scorpion and recommend integration if they are found suitable. Our actions were in service of this mission. However, recent events have given us reasonable cause to question the validity of Scorpion principles. What's this all of a sudden? You struggle to understand the centralists. Our fundamental principles also. Although integration greatly expands our diversity and potential for evolution as a life form, the Centralists have clearly been influenced by the ambition of the Pan-Galactic Federation. And they have now chosen a path that involves attacking fellow Scorpio. We believe that Scorpio has proceeded in an overly uniform manner in our continuous quest for evolution. But... Would this not be the same, even if you had not made contact with the Federation? Correct. It appears to be one of the inherent dangers of Scorpion. Yep, forced Scorpion. evolution. Pursuit of our goal, so excessive that it drives us to invasion and even harming of our own kind. In short, forced evolution. All this hand-wringing is well and good, but this is the time for action. Even if we don't have all the answers. So, what do you plan to do? It is an undeniable fact that the Centralist Scorpion philosophy is extremely dangerous. We will do whatever we can to stop them. And after that? If we are able to stop the Centralists, we are uncertain of what will happen next. That is something we must consider. I like that. You know, I'm starting, I'm starting to, see to see you less, less and less as a computer. computer. I'm sure things are gonna work out, right? <laughs> now seems an ideal time for some well-needed rest. We are like to face trouble yet again upon reaching our destination. So where are you going now? Now that we know the truth of Duma, I feel safer fighting with them, knowing that they've got some questions about themselves and the nature of their comrades. I'm still able to go to Aster. Wait, we can? 
I don't think we're going to be cut off at any point. <laughs> well, yeah, I know. I'm surprised we're hitting right now. I just thought that they'd block us out from uh, going back to Aster until we get to Vergold. That's all. Who's in the room? Uh, oh, it's Albert. Raymond and his comrades came to the aid of our home, so it is only right that we do the same for theirs. Yeah, it's funny that Duma brings up forced evolution. Yeah, you talked about that earlier. Yo. I'm glad Curtis and his crew are safe. Though he does have a look of a man who's been to hell and back. So basically, the, the Astoria, the reason why Curtis survived is because uh, a, the Astoria was more interested in, in coming after us and Parapolum than it was. Uh, yeah, that's why. Mm hmm. Yeah, you got JD. I don't, I, I don't have JD, and I don't see anyone on the, uh, at the, the um. I don't see anyone at the, the transfer room. Technology that increases the speed of a ship on a whim. I don't care how much for gold stance opposes that of the federal. I was hoping to show you all the sights of. I will contact you when we reach the Vergold system. So my mother and father are in for gold. Oh boy, we're headed into the breach once. Like, Sayuri. Still be some kind. Yep. All right, uh, reservoir quarters now. Go, go, Red. You might as well. I don't see anything else to do. Well, I need to be prepared for a new kind of battle. I should best get some not rest. turn down. I think we're in the same room. That makes sense. Delightful. I'm assuming that on, on your route, uh, she's got a different room, but it's fine that, that we, we had the same room on both routes. In the Vergold system. The battle will likely be fierce. All hands, brace for unexpected impact. I mean, it's easier than rendering so too many rooms. I had best join the others on the bridge. But there's plenty of, of unused rooms. They could have they could have given um not all the doors open. I know not all the doors room, but there's still there's still quite a few rooms, and not all of my I've never seen um every one of them fill the NPC in them, so that they could have easily uh, given at least Ray and like two different rooms. Status well, whatever. Three battleships, one hybrid research vessel, and two Scorpion battleships have invaded Vergold's hybrid research vessel. The Vergoldian fleet has engaged them. We are approximately 13 minutes away from the main combat zone. Schematics. So the Vergoldians have them. I think the Astoria was a hybrid user vessel. Well, it's not really that simple. There's no time. Actually, no, it was a battle. Vergoldian fleet shields will hold up. I was thinking of the uh, the trash though. That's a hybrid user vessel. Yes, it is. Tactical. Displaying tactical map. Now what? Three Federation vessels and one Scorpion battleship are approaching the combat zone. Two will arrive in 12 minutes. The other two within the hour. Even if the Aldis starts fighting now, this situation looks bleak. You come all this way just to retreat? No, never. But I gotta make sure that our info on the Scorpion is shared with my family. We're gonna cut across that battle zone and land on Vergol. But we'll never make it, Ray. I don't have any combat pilot experience. I will take over primary navigation. Please provide support. But Roger, three minutes. Captain. The battleship Sadith has broken away from the Vergoldian fleet. Their warp drive is damaged. Two Federation battleships are pursuing them. Phase cannons charging. They're going to fire. They're going to fire on an incapacitated ship? Shit. Bring us about. Go help the Sadith. Impossible. If both ships come after us, they will be destroyed in a single barrage. Damn! Damn, damn, damn! We should continue with our initial plan. Our only option is to reach headquarters and share what we have learned of Scorpion and the Federation with the Lawrence family and the military. Wait, what is this? What do you see? Look at tacticals. 
Two of the Federation ships have left the battle line, and they are now heading for the planet. What do they think they can do with just two ships? Surprise attack or no, they're never gonna get through the planetary shields. Ray, we're about to return to conventional space. You better settle on a plan. We're going after those two ships that left the front line. Got it. Now enter. I wonder if they're actually allies. Space. Gonna be following those. Like, did they follow Remington? But did they have? They want to participate in this? Hey. Hmm. They aren't headed for the whole world. This course is set for Vergness. They must be after the Simbo drives on Vergness. Vergness. Yeah. Chase them with everything we got. Send an emergency transmission to the military. The fleet they're facing is a feint. We are already at maximum speed. We will not catch them. They are 20 minutes ahead Never mind. of us. Have you gotten a response from the military? Captain, we're receiving a transmission from Bergness. It doesn't appear to be from the military. Put him through. Dad! <laughs> well, well, glad to see you punks are in one <laughs> He has the same thumbs up. We're gonna have to keep this short. The main fleet is a feint. Their real target is Provenience Cavern on Bergness. Two of their battleships are headed there now. Keep your pants on. Maybe you forgot, but Bergness has a permanent defense fleet. It'll take more than a couple of Federation ships to get through them. Raul Lawrence, this is Lieutenant Mario L. Kenny of the Pan Galactic Federation. Please, sir, heed your son's warning. These ships are renegades. Broken away from the fleet's chain of command. Normal assumptions do not apply. Why is there a Kenny? Kenny for the Aldis? <laughs> uh, long story. We've been through a lot here. <laughs> this is important. I need your help in getting the data we have to the military ASAP. The, these bastards, they're Scorpio. They're not what you think. Federation ship sighted. They're transferring down. No! Oh, they broke through the planetary shield? What the hell are these guys? Security? Yep. Hmm. Looks like this ain't gonna be as easy <laughs> as I thought. The commander of defense on Bergness is an old pal of mine. Send me your data. I'll convince him. But I want you two to get the hell out of this. Wait, what? Hey, you don't really think the Aldis can take on a fleet of battleships now, do you? Get out of the combat zone and keep yourselves alive. Got that? Over and out. He's doing the, th the same motion that Ray keeps doing. Yeah. That's where he got us from. All we have done will be for nothing if the Aldus is destroyed. Ray. What? A Federation vessel is hailing us. Have we been spotted? No. If they were with Remington, they would have shot without warning. Put them through. Understood. Putting them on screen now. This is Admiral Luca Maverick. Maverick. Galactic Federation vessel no way. <laughs> no way. Admiral Maverick. <laughs> That's insane. Admiral, ask for our surrender. Whoa, whoa. A Maverick. <laughs> Let's not rush to conclusions here. Would it help at all if I told you I've spoken with Curtis? Our vessel is headed for Vergald along with one of our newest battleships. At maximum warp, as we speak, to put an abrupt stop to Remington's incursion. We should be there in around 40 minutes. Can you hold out for that long? The Vergoldian fleet might just barely make it, but they've also put forces down on Vergness and have started attacking cities and civilians. Detached force, huh? You require any backup? No, no. We'll take care of it ourselves. Uh, think you can handle it? Sure, we'll be fine. So what's Vergness? I can't apologize. Vergness is basically a moon, I think. And the cowardice of the Federation. Yeah, got so we're gonna land there, not in Bergold. Yeah. Got it. Let's all get through this alive. Over. He's a good man who worked alongside my grandfather at the Federation. We can trust him. Fine. We'll let the military and Admiral Maverick handle the defense of Vergold. We are gonna transfer down to Vergness. We're gonna go help my dad. Understood. We can transfer down to Lawrence Logistics. I thought you were gonna try to stop me. <laughs> I never assume that you, Raoul, or Antonio will ever listen to what I say. Yeah, no point in starting now then. <laughs> we're heading to the surface. Once we're there, I want you to move away from Vergness. No need to tell me that. You think I'm gonna <laughs> hang out here staring down a couple of battleships? <clears throat> Ray. Sorry, but I'm gonna need your help. 
You need not have asked. Exactly. If it's a fight to save your home, then of course we're going to go. Indeed. Any battle of yours is a battle of ours. My agreement to maintain Elena is still in effect. <laughs> well, I have to start repaying my debt sometime. I have to start with my debt sometime. All right, then. Let's do this. Yep, yep, of course, you, you have uh, James and Theo. I might be of help to Ray in his home. Best make for the transfer chamber once I am ready. Next, you're going to tell me there's a lion god. A oh, lion god? <laughs> oh, man. And a pharynx. Scorpion principles. All right. No, I'm already going down. <laughs> yeah, I just went down a little bit after you because I thought the pause. That's up to save. Right so, now, now, there, now there's going to be like a Ferenc and a Lion God in the next. Paladernia. So here's the uh, advanced thing we saw. Let us go help them. So JJ has unique mechanics. It's yes, weird for a just for a optional. He has what? Unlike other characters, JJ does not fall back during the VH. He cannot evade the enemy in the air. He exploits their openings by linking his VA shield defense to the VA run. His strong sword technique with a long windup and no VA gauge increase in difficult to time counters that add great boost to the damage in the VA gauge. So you have to utilize both. So basically, half of his attacks don't do anything for VA, and half the other half do. V is like a J is like a really unique character, it seems. But like Theo's pre 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 average, he's like not that different all the characters. But J is really unique. Only they on your route, and you also gave a whole entire dun dungeon later. No, two dungeons later. You morons can come raise hell and do whatever you please on my planet, do ya? Dad, wait, 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 it's me, it's me. Huh? Is that, is that you, Ray? When the hell are you going to start listening <laughs> to your old man, you dolt? <laughs> but you did make it back here in one piece. I'll give you that. Yeah. So, Elena, what are these bastards really after? They are likely here to learn the secrets of the Simbo Drive. The squadron engaging the Vergold defense fleet is a diversion. How do you figure? Many Federation officers that have integrated with Scorpium beamed down on Vergnus. I would guess that this is their main force. I still don't know what the hell these Scorpium are, but I get the picture. <laughs> wait, 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 it's me. <laughs> always been on our case to join up, just so they can get their mitts on our Simbo drive. Ah, looks like they've finally blown their tops. Hey, Ray. Yeah, what is it? How many times have I told you to give me all the important details up front? I, I sent you the data. I passed it on to the defense base commander and told him to read it. I'm busy protecting my business. <laughs> I don't have time for that. Jeez, Raul. <laughs> I'm guessing this all means these jerks will be going after the Museum of Vergnesium Symbology. Right, Elena? Museum of Vergnesium Symbology. Likely. Am I correct in assuming you all are the resident experts on these Scorpium at the moment? Yeah, definitely. Okay, then. In that case, I'll leave the defense of the museum to you. I'll send word along to the Vignesian military and police. Just make sure you keep this city safe. Got that? Don't worry about that. We're on it. Huh. <laughs> Good answer. Don't screw this up. Once we've taken care of this mess, Bring your friends around. We'll have one hell of a party. Yeah. All right. <laughs>